when you first meet Jim Rogers, you have to be struck initially by the energy. He can suck the air out of a room, I tell people. He is the most charismatic, energetic, bold thinker and doer that I know. I, I think Jim Rogers decided early on when he became the CEO of Duke that Charlotte had the opportunity to diversify. And then with the global recession that hit us, he took every advantage of an opportunity to help people who might not have been as eager or as committed to diversification and to a new platform of economic development to focus and come together. He leads through collaboration and I think because he does have bold ideas and is really willing to share and to compromise and to forge partnerships together, his personality and his energy brings the best type of leader. He can get the job done, but when the job is completed, all of us feels like, feel like we were critical members of the team. When we started working together on the Democratic National Convention, uh, success was always the end game. And uh, as we worked together, I saw someone who was very tenacious, uh, someone who understood what winning takes and uh, really uh, put himself on the floor and made sure every step of the way we were doing all the things that needed to be done to make this effort successful. We have an interesting relationship with Duke. We're both a very big customer of theirs and they are a customer of ours for the equipment that we build. So they have their own economic development uh, group that worked with us and helped uh, with some incentives for us to, to create jobs in the area. But on top of that, uh, Jim personally made some calls to our CEOs to, to try to encourage them for the decision to make Charlotte a location for the hub of the Americas. Jim has been a successful advocate for Charlotte, uh, number one, because he cares about our community. Uh, you see that evidenced in things like uh, the tremendous support Duke Energy gave to the Levine Center for the Arts. Uh, we also can look at examples of other engagements by Duke Energy in our community, like Envision Charlotte, an effort to reduce the carbon footprint of the companies and the, the commercial structures in our center city. You may have noticed uh, there's not uh, very sound energy policy in this country. Uh, and Jim, uh, being who he is, is always thinking about the future. And we started having a conversation, how can we create rules and regulations that allow power companies to make intelligent decisions. We talked together on a panel in Davos, Switzerland about uh, American energy policy and I've uh, met with Jim numerous times trying to put together a rational solution to our energy needs uh, in Washington. He's a reliable person, uh, full of a lot of energy, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, about the topic of uh, trying to power America so that we can be competitive in the 21st century. Uh, when Jim Rogers speaks, people listen and that comes from uh, years of achieving credibility in one-on-one -on -one meetings and being recognized by the uh, industry as a whole as someone who's smart and knowledgeable. Jim's international profile is, is key to where Charlotte's going to grow. Charlotte is not just a small city in the southeastern United States. We're going to support a global economy and a global power needs. Uh, right here in Charlotte, a lot of the products we're manufacturing in Siemens uh, are shipped all over the world. Uh, so I think uh, it's important for us to think we can be a global player and Jim's uh, position helps us think that way. Duke Power led by Jim has been the genesis for the, the energy initiative here in Charlotte. I think it's all started when Duke decided to outsource some of the work that it did and that I think is what led to other companies like Shaw and Arriva to decide to locate here in Charlotte and started the ball rolling. The, the transition Jim is making with Duke Energy is actually going to make him an even greater force for building an energy cluster in our region. Uh, and in fact, uh, without having some of the day-to-day -day responsibilities that come with being CEO, I actually think he may be an even greater force for our community. When America uh, presents uh, energy uh, solutions and, and policies to the world, one of the people they'll look for is uh, Jim Rogers. So he's uh, had a very large international profile and does that help Charlotte? Does that help South Carolina, North Carolina? You better believe it because people are looking at uh, places to invest and uh, when they hear Jim speak about a rational energy policy, it makes our region much more attractive to the international community.